This video will introduce you to the Work Distribution Wizard in Epi Reviewer Web. The Work Distribution Wizard has been created to facilitate the quick and easy creation of a range of complex coding assignments, enabling single, double, or triple coding of items. Previously, users needed to first create reference groups and then use them to create coding assignments. The wizard now allows you to create these via a series of guided steps, although please note that it is still possible to do this manually. To use the Work Distribution Wizard, log in to Epi Reviewer Web and click on the Collaborate tab. Clicking on the Distribute Work button will bring up the first step, selecting which references to code. Choose whether you want to select references without any coding at all or from a particular coding tool or references with or without a specific code. In this example, I want to distribute items to reviewers that haven't been screened yet, so I will select All without any codes from this coding tool and select Screen on Title and Abstract. I will leave this as included items in the review, although you can choose excluded items, and I want 100% of items to be distributed. The wizard will now prompt you to preview the number of items to be distributed before you continue. Check that the number looks correct and click Next. Note that your choices now appear in the blue box at the top. Next, choose the coding tool for reviewers to code against. In this case, I want them to screen items on title and abstract. Then, select how many reviewers should code items. If your coding tool is set to comparison mode, but you've only chosen one reviewer, the wizard will ask you if you want to change the coding tool to normal data entry mode instead. To do this, simply click on the red change button and follow the instructions. Please think carefully about changing the data entry mode, however, as this can have important consequences for your review. In this case, I want to have my reviewers double screen the items, so I will leave the data entry mode as comparison and choose two. Then, Choose where the reference groups will be created. This must be under an administration coding tool. I had already created the parent code for screening on title and abstract, where I want these new groups to be created, so I'll select this. Then, click Next. Again, the choices I have made are shown at the top. The next step is to choose who will undertake the work. Here, you can either select all members of the review or select them individually. In this case, I want four people to screen these items. Then, select whether you want each person to receive the same number of items by choosing evenly, or if you would like to choose how many items people are assigned, choose manually. For this demonstration, I'll choose to distribute the items manually. Next, choose whether you want to create shared groups or whether you want to create one group per person. Selecting shared groups will create numerous coding assignments and selecting one group per person will create the least number of assignments. You can use the preview feature to understand the difference between them, if any. If you like, you can also edit the text that will be displayed at the beginning of each group created. Now it's time to assign items to members of the review. So far, I've assigned 100 to Stephen and 60 to Donald. Here, I can assign a certain number of items to the review members by clicking on the blue Add button next to their name. I'm now going to distribute the items evenly between the other two reviewers by clicking Distribute Remaining. Click on the Preview button to see how the items will be assigned. If it all looks good, select Do It to create the work distribution. The new assignments will be listed in the Coding Assignments panel. Here, four coding assignments have been created, with each group identifying the reviewer responsible. As with other coding assignments, reviewers can click on the blue number of items in the remaining column to be taken directly to a list of those items in the References tab. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to our channel, and if you have any further questions, please don't hesitate to contact us at episupport.com at ucl.ac.uk.